This is a 13-year-old desktop and today I'm going to disassemble it. It used to have a DVD drive, it's already out. Things to have in mind if you're buying or having an old computer. Eventually a lot of things stop working, like for example this USB drive stopped working. This uh, SATA connection stopped working. It gets very dusty everywhere. Some of these uh, USB ports causing issues because of old capacitors and stuff. Two RAM slots not working anymore. That on top of being old and have uh, general issues with uh, being old. And uh, it's slower now and uh, all that. Let's see over here. It did not have NVMe slots at that time. I was using a SATA SSD and I had another one and in the beginning it was a hard drive but then I switched to SATA SSDs which are still pretty good I would say um, the video card was changed here a few times uh, my previous Radeon R9 290 burned down after about 5-7 years also a matter of age I think one of the coolers stopped working this USB port is uh, from the case not motherboard Anyway, stuff just stops working. Uh, coolers get uh, uh, more noisy and uh, uh, video card coolers also get more noisy with time. If you have hard drive, they start doing scratching sounds. Overall, old computer is an old computer and uh, I actually suggest people buying new computers rather than old ones. Even though old computers and old parts often seem like a great deal. Although if you buy something that's like one year old at a great discount, I think it may, can be good. But otherwise, um, get new stuff. It didn't have a built-in Wi-Fi. I was using a wired internet or sometimes I had a Wi-Fi card. Luckily I was using a Wi-Fi 6E card, which uh, worked very good. Let's take out the video card first. So it had uh, two screws. This is a third video card in it. This is a pretty basic. This is uh, GTX 1650. I pulled out from another computer. Very important not to forget to press this thing. It's out. One fell, one fan, small one. GTX 1650. Two RAM sticks right next to CPU fan. Um, I believe they are too close. These two slots stopped working. So it was working as a single channel. Um, obviously DDR3. We have G-Skill. Two sticks of 16 initially it was 8 gig of ram then i swapped to 16 a few years later initially it had i5 second gen then i moved to i7 uh, 1370 i believe which was uh, the top uh, cpu for third gen it's still fine it still can run cyberpunk and like lower specs with this video card it had uh, six SATA connectors. I was using uh, a DVD drive, two SATA SSDs, maybe even three, maybe a hard drive. So, and uh, another one was going there. So you can connect externally, which is very convenient. So I was using like four or five of them. Now uh, the motherboards usually come with two or four. The cords, I believe, are still good, can be reused. Motherboard and case are no good. CPU still works fine. I didn't overclock it, so uh, it's still good. And, mod and uh, video card was uh, a few years old, so it's not that bad. We have battery here. Crossfire, by the way. Um, now everybody just use uh, one powerful video card before people could use uh, two or four. Windows 7 ready. Samsung, I like Samsung, never had issue with the Samsung SSDs or hard drives. I like Samsung more than anything else. A little bit hard to do with one hand. 
This is our 512 SATA SSD that was used just for Windows 850 Pro. Quite old now. I'm going to disassemble a few connectors before uh, uh, taking out the, the cooler and CPU. We have this connector here, a four pin connector. Uh, everything is like cramped in here. That's four pin connector. Some connectors for fans. I believe one of them broke over there. That's why this one wasn't spinning. Get out. Doesn't feel like they get stuck in there. Now I have them all out. Take off the other side. We need to unscrew this. There's a back plate for the CPU fan. I unscrewed the cooler. This is Cooler Master. Two fan, pretty big for the old days, for sure. Uh, looks like I put a little bit too much toothpaste, um, thermal paste rather. There's the bracket for screws. And this is the CPU. Again, a little bit too much paste. We're going to do like this and then like that and um, now we can take it off nicely and gently. We have the pins on the motherboard. I'm going to wipe it out now. I'm just going to use uh, baby wipes. The paste is quite old. Uh, this Intel CPU does not have a pins on the back. So it's uh, easier to, um, to wipe everything. Yeah, it was a bit too much paste, but some people say it's better more than less, but you gotta balance it right. I think the first time I put a little bit too little, and the second time I was just right, and third time I put a little bit too much. That's an ancient CPU by modern standards, but um, it can still be good as a office if you had a, an old computer with such CPU it can still be good for office work like 16 gig of RAM and then it's just fine for like basic needs integrated graphics in it is horrible it's uh, not even full HD you can't even have full HD with this CPU I uh, think not even HD, I think it's something worse than HD, something like 1280 by 720, I believe. And a uh, couple of screws left, so these four are going to be for power supply. And uh, uh, somewhere here there will be some for, like this one, for motherboard. Just unscrew everything and everything gonna be out. Four screws for power supply and six screws for motherboard and now it's empty. I don't think this thing is worth anything. If you try to sell it on eBay or somewhere, shipping away it will cost. So it's pretty much worthless. Let's take a look at what's left. We have this 750 watt power supply uh, it works fine can still be reused the motherboard has issues and it's old and electrical issues this is that a uh, bunch of sata quartz can still be used somewhere cpu is very old it's um, um, about 12 13 years old cpu um, this can be cleaned, they can still be used together, maybe if uh, some old CPU got burned, can still be used this for old motherboards. Uh, GTX 1650, 
still worth over a hundred bucks. Uh, DDR3, not much, and uh, 512 old SATA SSD also, not much.